My name's Eleanor, I'm CEO and co-founder of Mimic Tech, and we are revolutionising the way that poultry is farmed. The idea was come up with by my co-founder Sarah, who has a background in agriculture and animal health, and spent 15 years working on an exotic bird farm. I met her last year at the Wade Institute's Masters of Entrepreneurship, before which I'd done a degree in economics, and I'd worked as a strategy consultant at IBM and KPMG. The problem we're looking at is that Australian poultry farms have to double productivity on their farm every 15 years to stay profitable. This is a huge ask. You can't just double the size of your farm or double the size of your flock, especially when you're facing increasing feed costs, static and even decreasing retail revenue, and when historic improvements from feed and genetics are plateauing. So the next horizon for productivity improvements is process and environmental enrichment. So we've developed a physical infrastructure product that mimics core features of maternal care for chicks on commercial farms, or for the layman, we're building robot chickens. <laughs> this improves welfare, and by improving welfare, it improves feed use, weight gain, and mortality rate, which ultimately saves the farmer money. At the start of MAP, we had run three research trials. We've now run eight research trials. We've had a product impact with 100 chicks. We've now improved the lives of 55,000 chicks. In terms of market access, at the start of MAP, we've run one on-farm trial. We've now run four. And those four farmers unlock 50% of the Australian market for us. As a company, at the start of MAP, we had one provisional patent. We're now on our way to having a second. And we've raised $100,000 in funding. Now we've raised $500,000 in funding. And I'm really excited to announce tonight that that includes a $200,000 accelerated commercialization grant, which we heard about last week, which is incredibly exciting. <laughs> steps after MAP is to transfer, translate our patents to an international provisional patent or a PCT, to run full shed trials, to translate our prototypes into a working product, and to achieve our first product sales. But these first product sales are also just the beginning, because we have patented the concept or the method of using artificial maternal care in intensively farmed production species which is a long way of saying robot chickens are just the beginning. Our next product idea is in pigs to help with the phasing out of sow stalls. Thank you all very much for your time. I would now like to introduce Alex from Rekfire.